last question on what gives me hope. I think I'm I'm really hopeful that um, because of the, this whole entire crisis, people are going to embrace technology, uh, and people are also going to appreciate professions that we don't used to appreciate. I mean, I'm I'm not saying that I don't appreciate athletes or F1 or um, team sports or anything uh, or fashion or anything. But if you think about it. You know, stripped to the core, all these things are not essential in life. You know, we live a very decadent life. To be honest, why are we paying uh, a soccer player millions of dollars, and we only pay scientists and biologists and、uh, nurses so very little? It is no wonder these these sort of profession don't attract people. If anything, I feel that this whole crisis is going to encourage a generation. I hope. <laughs> I hope it's going to encourage a whole generation of scientists, biologists, doctors, healthcare staffs, and we're going to treat them more respectfully. We're going to appreciate them a lot more, and hopefully, we would also give them more significance in their job, appreciate them, and and obviously pay them better.、Um, that gives me hope because these are the people that's going to make a huge impact in our lives,、um, not these other, you know, other、um, secondary. Professions. Other things that gives me hope in life is that,、um, as much as there's a lot of stupidity and, and ignorance out there, there's a lot of really helpful people out there. There's a lot of、um, really kind people out there.、Uh, people are reaching out, going out, doing something. So it brings out the worst in us, but it also brings out the best in us. And hopefully, we would hear more stories of those. You know the best of us because I think it's really easy to just kind of criticize and it's it's also easy to be an expert on hindsight. Everyone is an expert on hindsight. Oh, the government should have done this. Oh, this should have been done this way and so on and so forth. Fair enough, right? But no one ever thought about the economic costs、uh, and who's going to shoulder that burden. So taking responsibility is so important.、Uh, this is also the time where you get to see who are the real leaders. So. Back to this topic that I love about leadership.、Um, a leader is supposed to be really flexible, agile, and accountable during times like this. You have no room for confusion because you, you know, people are given all sorts of conflicting information, information overload. So they're looking for direction. They're looking for clarity. So as a leader,、um, this is a good time to reflect. And we all have our own blind sides and our blind spots. Um, this is a great time, actually, to think about personal growth,、uh, looking at yourself internally. I think fear brings out the worst in us, but if we direct it to the right attention, to the right area, it could actually help us grow. So we got to ask ourselves: Why are we so fearful around this time? Is it because we're we're afraid of our jobs?、Um, is it because we're afraid of? Uncertainty. Then, what is it that we need to fix, or, or what is it that we need to overcome internally to make sure that we are going to have a job at the end of this? How can we be creative? I, I believe we are what we make, and you know, human beings have proven time and time again to be extremely creative and resourceful.、But、I think a lot of brilliant inventions, ideas are going to come out of this. I, I, I just have that confidence.